joining us now senior scientist dr guru prasad sir just couple of hours away from the historic accomplishment the soft landing of the moon bound spacecraft what are the challenges that the uh, lander module will face while landing into the moon surface see the main challenge is in a short span of 15 minutes or so roughly 15 minutes or so it will uh, it will be traveling at a speed of 6000 kilometers per hour at one point in orbit when it is very near to the moon that speed has to be reduced to zero within 15 minutes and it has to land very safely mm. so you have to very carefully reduce the speed at the same time you have to very carefully maintain the orientation of the spacecraft and that too it takes place in four phases each phase has to go very well and uh, these this itself is a very great challenge in fact you know that too and all these things are happening at a distance of 4 lakh kilometers from the earth you are not doing it here in the next room or something like that so you are communicating with the spacecraft at a great distance and you are uh, assigning the responsibility to the computer system of course you have thoroughly tested it i am sure that isro people have thoroughly tested it and this is the main challenge challenge is to land it safely in a like a helicopter i would say that is the only analogy i can give you okay that's uh, and also sir uh, regarding the failure uh, system design that has been incorporated in order to prevent crash landings sir could you briefly tell us in simpler terms for our yeah. audiences simply telling you know i need not have to explain it the chairman of isro shri somnath sir he has uh, actually very uh, earlier about 20 days back he has very clearly explained it see in the sense this time the mantra is what are all the failure modes where all failures can occur I, i can go on telling you for uh, minutes together so uh, failure uh, not failure challenges can come from many fronts so all these things have been imagined it is not successfully doing what are all the challenges that come and how do i meet those challenges and but still i make it a success that is the uh, main uh, 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 method which is used this time that is what he meant it so the thing is you you imagine what challenges would come what failure modes may occur so you be ready to meet those challenges but still ultimately you have to land successfully that is the idea behind this thing. and also so what could be the possible findings and benefits uh, to the space agency and whole field of yeah. science uh, from the findings yeah one is technological no doubt about it you see the fact that you are able to land itself it is not child's play in fact that is why you know only three countries have done fourth one will be going to become optimistically in fact so this is one thing scientifically you know we can uh, think of many aspects of the moon okay whether it is about the internal structure of the moon or whether it is about the uh, ionic uh, uh, rather i would say uh, no 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 it is a, a, a very 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 thin ionosphere around the moon what is its density variation what is its uh, uh, density as such composition that kind of thing and third thing is how heat flows through the lunar soil regolith that is the thing and uh, fourth one is how far the moon is to to estimate that you have a laser instrument and more than anything else in pragyan rover you have got uh, two spectroscopes one spectrometer and spectroscope uh, one is laser induced breakdown spectroscope uses laser to break down the lunar soil and to analyze it the other one is uh apx as we say forget about it uh, tongue twisting things it's an x ray instrument and uh, both of these things they are uh, they help us they enable us to study the elemental composition chemical composition and mineralogical composition of the moon that is the so my final question is what does this accomplishment mean for indian space agency yes it is one of the greatest accomplishments i would say in fact because as i told you repeatedly the thing is only three countries have landed you can put a spacecraft into orbit even that is a very difficult task that th- three times we have done many countries have not done very few countries have done but accomplishing landing on some other heavenly body is not a easy thing when we accomplish that yes it's a significant achievement for the indian space program it is a significant milestone which is which will be crossed by the indian space program